Check it out guys, we're talking Milwaukee Fuel M18 today. I'm gonna start today's video out with a question. Let's say we're in the Family Feud and the question is, name a power tool that a contractor or homeowner owns. What do you think? I would say a drill or an impact driver. So today I'm gonna to update you on this set right here by Milwaukee. This is the Milwaukee 2997-22. This is the fuel version, 18 volt, runs off the M18, five amp hour batteries. And let me show you what it looks like. So here we've got the impact. And then here we have the hammer drill, drill driver. The kit also comes with a charger and this handle right here for the hammer drill. I actually reviewed this set 16 months ago and a lot of you guys have been asking questions about it, how it's been holding up. So today I've decided to do an update review on these tools right here. We're going to take another close look at each one and we're going to do some extreme testing, something I didn't do before. So you're going to want to stick around for that. So most of this testing is going to take place outside. So let's go out there and look at the impact driver first, then the hammer drill, and then we'll do a little wrap up of the specs one more time and we'll be good to go. This morning I went shopping in Home Depot looking for the biggest lag I could find and this is a half inch by 10 inch. So I have some treated six by eights and to power something like this all the way into that will take a lot of power. And today we're gonna see if the Milwaukee M18 impact is up for the challenge. So during the Christmas sales, I picked up this Makita set right here. This is a five eighths inch socket and this is that swivel. So this is actually the first time I get to use that. So let's put that in. And the one thing I like about this one-handed operation, you don't have to pull that collar out and it's ready to go. All right, let's take that tag off. Let's see if this will go all the way in. All right, so this is it right here. We're going into this treated six by eight. So this is an old retaining wall that's gonna be coming down this summer. I'm gonna replace it. So this is gonna go through here and into that right there. So let's see if it works and then we can change the speed we're going to go on three right there full speed I can see where it went through here, down here, right there is part of the lag, so it went down into that as well too. All right, very nice. It looks like the end was getting a little hot. I could see some steam down there where it must be like creating some heat. Speaking of heat, let's see how this feels right here. It is like 30 degrees outside, but yeah, that metal right there is a little warm, but nothing crazy. Okay, so the impact was able to drive with no problem this big lag bolt in twice. So now we're going to switch over to the drill driver and I have this two inch hole saw bit right here, Milwaukee bit, and I'm going to put the handle on right here. That just screws on really nice and secure. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole straight down through here and one through the side. Once I get too far down, then I have an extension that I'll put on this. And you might be wondering why I'm drilling into this log right here. Let me show you. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with a one log fire. This is something that I purchased before when we go to the beach on our summer vacation. This is a timber tote and what this is, it's a log, it has a two inch hole right here. 
drill all the way down to right there. So it has that vertical hole going down, then it has this horizontal hole that's 10 inches down that goes in right there. So essentially what this is, it's a chimney stove. It brings the air in here and the fire comes out the top and then this burns for probably almost two hours and it's great on the beach because around that time you really don't want to be out there much longer than two hours and this is really lightweight and portable. So I'm gonna see if I can make my own. And I can't think of a more powerful drill than this right here to tackle this project with. So let's get started. So just so you're aware of the wood right here, this is hardwood, it's green ash. I probably cut it about a year ago. Okay, speed one. Wow, see it just turns the whole log. Wow, that is powerful. really drilling. All right, I'd say that's pretty deep right there. Okay, so I drilled the hole down 10 inches. Now we're gonna lay it on its side. And then we're gonna go straight in. We're gonna go right here. Ah, uh, there we go. There I felt it. I have this bright rover floodlight right here. I'm gonna put this in just so we can see the final results. There, what do you think? All right, so I was really pushing that drill hard. Let's just see how warm it is. Even though there is snow outside, right now I'm not feeling, I thought it would be hotter from what I've seen other people comment that this gets really hot. It's a little bit warm right back here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's doing well. All right, we're gonna test this out on some concrete using the hammer drill. I have a quick little story that I'm gonna share with you talking about the very first time they used a hammer drill. I remember when I was about 20 years old, I was working on a small crew and my job was to install 10 different anchor bolts in the ground. I had to run a half inch drill and then probably sink the anchors in probably you know like a couple inches so i completed five of the ten which took forever because i did not have a hammer drill it was just a regular drill and it just seemed like the bit was dull and there had to be somebody else working there from the utility company i think it was from the phone company and this guy seen me struggle and he said you know what i've got this hammer drill you should try it out and i asked him how long he was going to be there and he said not much longer but trust me it's not going to take that long and it was like a night and day difference using that hammer drill. I instantly went out and bought one the next time I had to do that project. It just, you could spend all day with the wrong tool or you could get a hammer drill like this and be done in no time. So ever since then, the hammer drill has probably been one of my favorite things to use. So if I'm drilling really big holes, I have an SDS plus bit, but for this right here, a lot of times I'm just installing some holes like in some concrete block, like hanging some pictures or something like that. And this is my setup right here for new construction when I'm running a sump pump. So I have my trusty Tapcon thing right here. So I'm installing the 532nd bit right there. And when you slowly turn this on, The sound of this right here just is like raw power, raw torque. I can understand why Tim Taylor has that grunt. <laughs> it's just like a visceral reaction when you have that kind of power. It's just awesome. All right, let's do some drilling. I don't know. 
don't need all that dust in there. All right, the next size up will be the 3 16 This one's just a little bigger. This has a two speed, one and two on the top. It has a hammer drill function, the drill right there, and then the clutch right here. So the clutch right here, this is a, an electrical clutch, not a mechanical clutch. And I do wanna point the LED is down here, more at the foot, so that shines up to where you're working. Okay, ready? Listen for this one. Okay, listen to this right here. All right, so it doesn't click, it just it stop right there. And if you're wondering what qualifies for being the fuel model, it's a powerful brushless motor, it's a red lithium battery, and it's a red link plus intelligence. So these are engineered for the most demanding trades of the world. Okay, so on the hammer drill driver, the peak torque is up to 1200 inch pounds, RPM up to 2000, BPM 32,000, the chuck type is a half inch all metal ratcheting chuck. The length of it right there, 6.9 inches. The weight, 4.8 pounds. 4.8, is that what I had? Is that what I had? Yeah, 4.8, that's what my scale said too. All right, great. Glad to know my scale works. All right, then on the, on the impact driver, the chuck type, quarter inch, max torque, 2,000 inch pounds, RPM, 3,600. The IPM, 4,300. And it has a four mode, Drive control, single hand bit insertion, yes. The length, 4.59 inches, and the weight, 3.8 pounds. Has a five year tool warranty, three year battery warranty, and this kit right here includes the hammer drill driver, the impact driver, two five amp hour batteries, the charger, and the carrying case. So what do you think about these two right here? Are you impressed with the impact driver and the hammer drill? If so, please put a comment down below. And my goal of this video is to help you guys out. So if you're considering the purchase of these right here, hopefully I've been able to put these through the test enough so you can see if they're right for you. If you enjoyed this video and find it interesting and informative, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.